Hey guys, welcome back to the Plutonia Experiment walkthrough on the Ultraviolence difficulty for the PC, played through Z-Doom. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this is Map 14, Genesis. Careful when you start, cause there's two Hell Knights right behind you. So take care of them both. It's not that difficult if you know where they are. And then from here, you can actually take care of some of the gunners before you even meet them later on. So yeah, kind of convenient. And this Cacodemon also needs to die. Alright, so everybody is dead around here. Let's go ahead and grab all the shotgun ammo around the starting room. And now what we're going to do is use our rocket launcher to take care of these enemies out here. Now what I'm going to do is take care of everybody that I see because I want to show you the easiest way to do this map and the easiest way... Well, that was a close call. The easiest way is to take care of everybody that you see. That way you don't have to deal with them later on. To your left and right are chain gunners, so take care of them. But there's not that many, there's only like four total. Also from this distance, you can take care of these imps way over there. They're by the exit teleporter. Yes, that's the exit teleporter, way over there. We'll be able to exit this map shortly. This map is not that long either. And there's a uh, chain gunner to the left. And then also from here, you can take care of this revenant over there. Alright, and we killed everybody that we could see, so let's hop down these sets of stairs here and take care of these shotgunners. You can also take care of a cacodemon here in this pit, if you so desire. It's not necessary, but you can take him out right now if you want to. Alright, so now we'll go past the Arachnatron cage, over to here, and up the stairs. This part just has, like, a couple of revenants, so use your rocket launcher, hide from the rockets, unlike what I did, and then take them out. Hop this gap, it's not really that difficult of a jump, just a little bit awkward, I guess. And then you can head over here where the chain gunners were for some armor. Also from here, inside the blood pit, you can take care of a cacodemon before you even have to. A lot of this map is like that, you can take care of enemies before you even have to. Which is kinda cool. Now we'll cross the bridge, but be careful there's like two cacodemons on the left side of the bridge. So we'll take care of them both. Like I said, this map is not all that difficult. And I don't know why. So we'll cross the bridge to the other side, careful of this revenant. And we'll keep going and take our first left that we come to. We'll cross this bridge and we'll grab the invisibility. Now this is probably the most difficult part in this map. Make sure the chain gunner up there dies, then switch to your BFG and then use it to kill the enemies at the close range here. Ow, that kind of hurt and um, basically to establish um, like a hold point up here. And then you can just use rockets or you can use plasma or even super shotgun if you're ballsy enough on everybody else. Yeah, this is the most difficult room and even then it's not that difficult. So yeah, anyway, we'll go over to this side and we'll flip the switch. The switch will raise up the bridge again, so you can exit back out of this room. Yeah, the bridge will lower when you cross it. We'll come to this area. This area will open up with the yellow key, but be careful of the, um, arch vial over there. He's in a pretty precarious spot sometimes to take out, but you can do it. Grab the yellow key across the bridge. Alright, now this is a lift that will actually take you down to the lower level, but we're not going to go that way. We're going to go the other way. I, I heard someone get resurrected, but 
we'll go back across the bridge and what we're going to do is go back to that other bridge like way over here right here now to the right see that blood fall down there jump down lower it down like a lift and then take the teleporter behind the blood fall your first secret area with a mega armor now be careful that's that arch vial that resurrected that cacodemon that I mentioned earlier how I heard someone get resurrected so be careful of that and we'll take care of the cacodemon that got resurrected alright so he is dead now we'll take this lift up this is the same lift I was talking about that I said we wouldn't go down see we're right back here again we have to go back to that bridge again that bridge we were just at right here but we'll turn around and the wall with the blood smears on it is a secret area with a teleporter but be careful behind the teleporter yeah is a chain gunner so take care of him now if you can see it it's kinda hard to see but see that um, brown metal floor down there that's actually the pit where the cacodemon was in fall down into it for the soul sphere and your final secret of this map all right, and we're pretty much done with this map now. There's the yellow door, so let's go through it. Fire at the barrels to blow them up to kill the two chain gunners. It's not that difficult to do. Now notice these windows are bolted shut, meaning you can't access those windows yet. But as soon as you enter the yellow door, those windows will open up, allowing you access to the balconies outside. Grab the chain guns around the teleporter if you can. Oh yeah. Then take either one of the two teleporters to the top level. Well, I guess he decided to wake up, so I guess we'll take him out. But yes, behind the windows, basically on the balcony, are plasma cells. So that's the whole reason for those windows opening up so you can get the plasma. And since we have plasma, you know, we might as well use some, right? Alright, they are all dead. We'll progress the map, and there is the exit teleporter. Yeah, that's all there is to this map. There's not much to say about this map. Apart from maybe map 1, map 2, and maybe map 3 of Plutonia, this map is quite possibly the easiest map in all of Plutonia. Well, apart from maybe map 18. Map 18... Uh, it may be a bit easier, but not by much. This map is really simple, and it's really short, too. Um, you can finish it in no time, even for a walkthrough. Seven and a half minutes is a very quick time for a Plutonia map. Huh, there's not much else to say about this map. It's just short and quick. Um, I don't know what this map is named after, whether it's named after the first book of the Bible or whether it's named after the band. You know, the um, the rock band from... Uh, where were they? Were they from England? I think they were. Genesis, the band. Um, to be honest, I don't listen to much Genesis. Um, never was a big fan of them. Um particularly because they're they're too light for my taste. I'm, I'm more into the hard rock genre. Um, though I have heard that one song. What's, what was it called? Um, Land of Confusion? Was that, was that the name of it? I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm losing focus here. Let's just... Um, yeah, let's move on to the next map. Um, the next map is called The Twilight. Map 15 of Plutonia. So we'll move on to that map in the next video. I'm Big Mac Davis, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Um, yeah, so take care.